Okay, next I'm going to talk about some wrapper objects. Wrapper objects is a concept that does exist in Java. So if you're familiar with the Java objects for the primitive data types, this is very similar. In Java, you have objects for string. You have objects for Boolean and integer. This is a very similar concept. I start with the question, is string a primitive? Now, you have a string. Let's say var greeting equals hello world. So it's a string, a variable called greeting, which contains a string value, which is hello world. Now, there is a way you can access the length of the string. You want to know how long a string is, how many characters it has. You can do greeting.length, right? So variable name, dot length, and it's going to give you the length of that string. Length of hello world happens to be 11. Now, how does this work? If string were to be a primitive, how could you use this dot notation? Dot notation kind of gives an idea that it is an object, doesn't it? You're doing object dot property. We've seen that for arrays as well. So is string greeting here, is this a primitive or an object? Which is a good question. So let's find out var greeting equals hello world. Let me just use the console here for now, just for demonstration. And now I say greeting and it's gonna evaluate it and give me hello world. What happens if I do greeting dot length? It's gonna give me 11. Now, is greeting an object or a string? Let's say I do a type of, type of greeting. It tells me it's a string. Now, if this were to be a primitive, if this were to be a string, how does greeting dot length work? How does a dot length accessor work? The reason it works is JavaScript has equivalent objects for each of the primitive data types. So what are the primitive data types? We have string, number, boolean, undefined, null, and uh, symbol, right? So let's take string. String primitive has an equivalent string object, okay? And uh, when you do something like this, when you do greeting.length, this will automatically, sure obviously fail, if greeting is a primitive, right? So when you access something like this, when you say string.length, what JavaScript does is it gets that string and converts it to this equivalent object, okay? When it converts it to the object, the length property becomes available to it, okay? And then it calls the length property of the object string, and that's how the length works. So what's happening here is when I do greeting.length, greeting is a string, but then it immediately wraps it in this wrapper object, which is a string object. And then a dot length on the string object gives the length. However, if you were to access type of greeting again, it will still be string because when the object is created and you know, the string primitive to string object that's created, it is not assigned to greeting. It's just a temporary object that gets created. Length property is pulled up from it and then the object is discarded. So just this one line, causes the object to be created, length accessed, the object is gone. Now, greeting is still a string. So it the object gets created for a fraction of a second just to make that variable dot length work, okay? So this happens for the primitives. So here I have uh, four primitive object wrappers. So string has an object primitive and a string has a primitive as well as an object. Number is a primitive as well as a number object. Boolean has an object as well as a primitive. And then symbol we talked about, which is introduced in ES6, also has an object equivalent. So there are things you can do to the number object and the Boolean object and string of all these objects, which you cannot do with the primitive. But when you do it, JavaScript intelligently converts from the primitive to the object just to make that operation work, just like we saw for string dot length.